Welcome everybody. I'm back y'all with another video. Let's hop into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So we're going to get a general for the collective. Let's see how the divine masculine is feeling about you. What are his thoughts about you? What does he want to say? All right, since we got some jumpers, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. But before we jump into it, guys, I want to thank everyone who has purchased a personal reading with me. The readings still are currently $25, okay? So if you're new to the channel and you want to book a personal reading with me, now's a good chance to jump in, okay? How to contact me, guys, check the comment section below. It's pinned. My email address is there for you to contact me. 24-hour turnaround time frame, okay? So it looks like your divine masculine, he's scared to call you. Yep, it says, I'm afraid to call, I'm afraid to contact you. I am not available. We need to let each other go. So these are things that he has said in his mind, like, okay, I'm not going to call, I'm not going to call, I'm not going to call so I can let it go, so I can let it go. But the thing about it is he, he still feels you even though y'all apart from each other, okay? He still feels tied to you in some way shape or form even though he's trying to ignore you trying to be unavailable to you he still feels your energy he feels as though um you guys um union is it taught him some a lot of different lessons but he also know that he's the one who played a major part in the connection falling apart because we got I know I messed everything up. But he's starting to understand more of what the connection was about. He's starting to understand the more spiritual aspect of the connection. Um, being that y'all are apart. Okay. This is for people who are in separation with their divine masculine. So he said he's not available right now because he's trying to let you go. But he can't help himself. He still feels your energy. He still feels you even though y'all not around each other. Y'all are apart from each other. Okay. I'm going to pull a few more cards from right here. Tell me more about this divine masculine. How does he feel about divine feminine? How does divine masculine feel about divine feminine currently? He feels a lot of grief because he feels stuck. Like I, I feel like he feels like y'all are both marrying each other. Um, there's some deception involved, so he. I, I feel like he feels like you. You both are marrying each other, and like I said, with deception right here, it's like somebody could either be dealing with a third party, dealing with the karmic, or have something like both of y'all have other things going on. So that's the reason that he feels like the connection needs to be released. I do feel like he would love to compromise with you. But at this time, I feel like he feels like y'all are marrying each other. So, you know, who's going to bow down and compromise first? And well, until then, we're just going to let each other go. Okay, we're just going to let each other go. All right, so we got summer that's coming up. Okay, summer is coming up. And this masculine is going to be at a crossroad because he is awakening um to something here okay he's going to want to take some type of new direction he's going to be looking at his finances and looking at his money um and wanting to um oh uh, yeah see he's dealing with a third party he's dealing with a third party he's dealing with somebody else so he's not sure where he's not exactly sure where the connection is headed but he's going, he said he's going towards where the money at. Because he's not sure where you guys' connection is going to go. 
He's not sure. Like, summer is right around the corner, and this is what's going to be on his mind. He's like, dang, you know, I don't really know where, where, we, where this is going to go because we both, you know, on the same type of time right now. I'm not sure where this is going to be headed, but right now I'm going to where the money is going to go. Now, I feel like him and the karmic have an understanding. They have an understanding. Because we got contemplation, received, third party, understanding, conclusion, and karmic partner. Surrender and mask. So him and the mask, him and the karmic, um, they have some type of understanding with each other. Like, this is for show. We got mask and surrender. I'm getting like, this is for show. I don't feel like it's going to ascend too much because we got ascending and no. Somebody here is trying to reinvent itself and reinvent itself. It's this masculine. He's uh, trying to reinvent himself. Okay. So that's what I got. Y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below. All right. As well, if you're interested, guys, book a personal. It's $25 for a limited amount of time. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.